Hello, my name is Geeta Sashadri and I am one of the authors of this article on how couples manage interracial and intercultural differences within their relationships and what this means for clinicians. I chose this topic because of my passion for couples negotiation of race and culture. When looking at the literature out there, we found that there was little support for these couples as well as not very many tools for therapists. We decided to use Bronfer Brenner's ecological systems theory, as well as social constructionism, to highlight a strength-based systemic perspective. Looking at the experiences of 17 couples from a variety of different backgrounds, a set of strategies as well as structures emerged. The structures, in no particular order, were integrated, where both cultural voices are heard and validated, coexisting, where there is the presence of two cultural voices, however, they're rarely integrated, singularly assimilated, where there is the presence of one partner's cultural voice more than the others, and unresolved, where there is little discussion or focus on culture and in fact it is most of the time ignored. We distinguish the difference between race and culture where race was based on physical features and culture was based on the different practices one was raised with while they were growing up. As you can imagine, race was only an issue when there was the presence of an other. And an other can include family, community, um, society, etc. And so much of the data focused on the strategies of what worked with the cultural issues. So the strategies fell in four different areas, creating a we, which focused on the couple relationship, how they framed differences, which based on how they celebrated it or not, emotional maintenance, how they emotionally maintained their relationship, and lastly, how they positioned themselves with family, society, and others. Now within these four categories, there are additional strategies that you will read about. When thinking about these couples, one particular couple comes to mind, and I want to highlight that the working relationships in this data was based on the integrated structure, the coexisting structure, and singularly assembled structure. The unresolved structure did have the component of friendship and attraction, but didn't have much of the other strategies, and that's why it wasn't a working structure. So when thinking about the, these structures, one couple comes to mind, and they fell in the unresolved category at this particular moment in their relationship. And I'm thinking about Eva. She is talking about her husband, and when they discuss issues around culture, she felt like she had to move into this emotionally aggressive role to get her husband to engage with her. Now, as you can see, this is an example of what didn't work. Where on the other hand, we think about uh, Selma, who talks about when she's cooking food, how she integrates different aspects of her husband's culture as well as her own when she's cooking the food from both of their backgrounds. So as you can see, there was a variety of different experiences within these 17 couples and provided a lot of meaning and richness for these strategies and structures. I hope you get a chance to read this article as well as utilize some of the tools in your work and experience with interracial and intercultural couples. Thank you so much.